Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to try to do Eric T's white weenie stipulation. You guys ready? It's happening. Spectral Procession, Hero Blade Hold, you know, you know how we be. Splashing's totally fine. Fixing and Power Trump all, and the rest I leave to you. I'm going to take Armageddon, because if we're going white weenie... You know what you can... You know what you can... You know, you know what you can do. Do 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 do. My name is Michael B. We're gonna take Honor of the Pure for the White Weenie deck. How's that sound, Michael? Michael, tell me how it sounds. It's good. Solid, right? Armageddon plus. Yeah, that's a good start for White Weenie. Yeah, this is what we want to do. Hollows? Oh, Ravages of War? Sure. <laughs> Double Armageddon? Or do we just take Hollowed Spirit Keeper because we'll probably have a bunch of dudes in the graveyard? I think it's Hollowed Spirit Keeper because I bet this comes back. I want to have creatures to cast before we that's cast fair. our yeah, Armageddon. That's fair, that's fair. Ain't nobody taking... Stop. <laughs> Tell Micah to stop texting women and play a nerd game. I'm playing poker. It's pretty nerdy. <laughs> Stop texting your mother, Michael. I'll do your mother's voice while I while I tell you not to text your mother. That's good. Do that. Okay, I'm doing it right now, Michael. Oh, God. Will you listen to that, Michael? Michael, it's your grandmother. Listen. Listen, Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael, are you listening? I'm listening. I just want to talk to you about your, your father. He was a famous baseball player, Michael. His name was Stinky Celiac, and uh, he played for the Boston Stinky Celiac. The Boston, the Boston Turtles is who he played for, Michael. The Boston Turtles. I'm gonna take Ubazawa's Jitte. We don't have many white weenies so far, but we do have a lot of good cards for the white weenie deck. So, the monk pooper. Is that what you meant when you said master? Did you mean modest? Did you mean mentor? Boston Michael's Bob Exit is the absolute. It's so good, isn't it? Michael, did you hear about your father? What about him? I I, I was trying to tell you about it, but you weren't fucking listening to me, Michael. <laughs> I don't understand why you weren't listening. I'm trying. To, I think that's rude when you don't listen to your own, your own mother, Michael. But. I, I don't know. What do I know? I'm just I'm just your mother, Michael. You never call me, so what do I know? This is wrong on so many levels. It's what? It's wrong on so many levels. How many levels? If you had to count the number of levels it was wrong on. At least how four. At least four levels, he says. <coughs> uh-huh. I'll take a Kithian, because I think it's probably the best card in the pack. But of course, fifth pick Metalworker and Treachery when we can't take those cards. All right, I'm going to stop the, with your mother's Boston accent now. <laughs> was Ooh. that Boston accent? I, I I I don't I don't know, Michael. Is it Gideon or is Smuggler's Copter? I think it's Gideon. Yeah, it's Gideon. We have Honor the Pier. <laughs> She's actually a Long Island Jewish mother from Boston. That's it's a wild it's a wild history that that the Bartholomews have. Michael, listen. Yeah, do you keep doing it? I just want you to listen. Why is it so fucking hard for you to listen to your mother, Michael? I don't understand. Is it a struggle, Michael? Are you struggling with it? Yeah, man, I'm struggling. Oh, got a blade splicer. Oh, that's nice. I'll put that right in my pile of magic, the gathering cards that I've selected for this booster draft. Booster draft. Oh god, it's just it's just Michael. That's all. Is it time for cookies yet? Good gravy. You got any cookies left? No. Dang. I still got two. Do you really? Yeah. What? Seriously? Yeah. That's insane. I didn't eat one last night. 
We've been keeping up to one a night. Wow. I feel like I have two, but I thought like we got them like five nights ago. It's possible I forgot one. I don't know. Hmm. That's not it. I don't know, man. How did Green do? We went 3-0. Oh, Adanto <laughs> Vanguard? Oh, man. Solid beater. To Sarah Official, it's all coming together, my dude. Oh. Wait, what? What? Never mind. Are you okay? okay? I like. I thought your argument again just disappeared. <laughs> what? What? It's, a, it's actually a Hardy Boys mystery novel, Michael. The case of the disappearing Armageddon. <laughs> Oh, boy. Mike saves his cookies. That's surprising. I thought so, too. You can really only eat one at a time, man. They're, yeah, they're really rich. I've eaten two at a time, and it's just not a good oh idea. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark, what card is this? Hey, Mark, what, what card the is this? The funny thing is, like... Mark, what is this? Mentor the Meek's actually not that great in the monolite deck. Wasteland's good. I would have snapped off Dismember. Actually, no. Wasteland's actually, actually, I... Oh, Wasteland's For good one too. mana, though. Yeah, it's pretty effective. It's good with Mentor, too. I also like this because if we Armageddon, I don't want them to have things on the board. Oh, the Ravages came back, my dude. Of course it did. Linvala, you can go on the side, Bizzle. I'll take you, my little gentleman. Oh, Resto came back? I'm pretty sure every white card we even considered came back. And I would not mind a Stoneforge, considering we already have Jitte, and I'm sure we can pick up something else. What? You heard me. God, I did, but I wish I hadn't. Mm. This pack's a little unexciting. We could Winds of Abandon and then Armageddon. <laughs> I don't hate that. The only other option is Walking Ballista, which I don't think or want to have enough mana for, and a Fairgrounds Warden. Also, Crater Hoof, which is kind of ironic considering our last draft. Would have killed for a crater hoof, but I'm just going to take Winds of Abandon. Ballista isn't bad, but I, I like. I feel like we're never going to have more than like four mana on board at any given time. And I think it goes down if we have like double Armageddons. Why are there two Armageddons in this queue? Is it that? It's, it's the way Mono Reich is good. Mono Reich? Yeah. That sounds really... Does it? Oh my! Oh, oh my God! Oh, jeez! Oh. Someone raised to like twenty big blinds, <clears throat> and this guy was tanking for like, like almost his whole clock. He got thirty seconds to decide. Well, I guess he called and he, and he fold, had nothing. And he folded and he showed, and he was considering calling like fifteen big blinds off with king seven off. <laughs> what if you hit that king, man? Then you're gonna get crushed by your opponent's ace king. Is what's gonna happen? Ah. Or worse. Oh, Thalia? Let's talk about a Thalia, boys. There is two wildfires, too. It's just funny, because those archetypes don't seem played nearly enough to have two options. Like, ain't nobody playing Armageddon and Ravages of War nearly enough. It's for Craig Wesco. <laughs> Angel Invention? You're not terrible. Oblivion Ring's probably better. I like Oblivion Ring better. By a, count, by a country mile. A whole country mile? Like well, half I, I'm not going to do half country miles. That's super <clears throat> weird, man. <clears throat> okay. Land tax? <sighs> what poker are you playing on? Uh, we all... Long story short, it's a home game. We play on a free-to-play poker app. I think app. they're both coming back. I don't think it matters. And we uh, we just pay pal one guy, and he pays pal to the winners. So it's a free-to-play app. It's not like a big poker site. Yep, Amiria does well. Right, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, this doesn't really matter. These are both coming back, so. Ooh, Lingering Spirits and Path, huh? I think it's definitely Path here. And I don't mind. Mono White. What? Mono White. What, what does that mean? You can't splash for Lingering Spirits. This isn't a splash. This is just a white card. It makes two guys. Yeah, but do you really want to play it if you can't flash it back? Maybe that's good enough. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think so. I think Spectral is just better. Oh, I like an Elspeth Conquers Death a no, lot. No, man, Wrath of God. What? Oh, don't take that. I'm like, true. what? I think it's just Elspeth. I mean, like, it's a five drop, but it can be our only five drop, and there's nothing else in here, and that's just totally fine. Plus, this card's very, very good. Oh, look, we just get a Day of Judgment anyway. 
yeah, I mean, it's fine. He's been waiting for you. Cause his name is Michael B all day. Michael B two. Michael B two. It's a, it's the sequel. Why don't you check out? Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom after this draft portion. But nobody will know because I'll pause the video. You won't have any idea. And I'll tell them about it. That's rude. That's not what friends do. I'll just take Teferi. Nothing in this pack is good. Eh, Fairgrounds Warden came back. That's fine. Gets rid of a dude. <sighs> Unexpected is fine as well. I need some more small creatures. We only got six creatures in our white weenie deck. Angel came back. So did this angel. All right. Lingering spirits did come back. Yes, lingering souls, bragged all lingering spirits. Yes, that's a good point. But if we get like a Godless Shrine or a Concealed Court, we can easily play it and just splash the second half. Brimaz. Probably the only card for us here. Brimaz it is. Council's Judgment is good. Allegiance Landing is great, though. Ugh. Allegiance Landing probably comes back. Let's take the Judgment. And then Allegiance Landing will table, right? There's no way anyone takes Allegiance Landing. You okay, man? Get the higher straight. Sea Chrome might will. What are we going to do with Sea Chrome? Want to splash this Teferi? No splash. Balance? Oh, man. Balance just seems bad for this deck, right? Like, you just get rid of all your creatures. Hero of Bladehold, though, is, is a professional. Mike is getting heartburn from his poker. <laughs> uh. It just sucks when you hit a straight and your opponent has a higher straight. It's a little rough. Down here, salt is a way of life. Uh -huh. Misha's workshop. Oh, yes. That's what we're looking for. I think it's just Revoker here. Brightling's fine, but we have a lot of three drops, whereas Revoker can, like, just shut certain things down. 
All right, we just want a pot. Feeling better. How big? Like 2K, not much. <laughs> what a it's nice to pick up a pot after losing a, a decent size one, though, you know? Feels a little better. Michael, you know your father has a history of ulcers? He does? I didn't know that. So Mike Pence didn't wear a mask at the Mayo Clinic today, even though they told him he needs to wear a mask? What did you mean? And we know it wasn't a bluff. Uh, I hit a straight on the river. That was cool. It just totally interrupted what I was saying. Sorry, I was reading. We were kind of talking at the same time. You literally read that brand new message after I started talking. It sounded like the same time to me. I'm sorry, okay? I was able to finish my entire sentence before you started. I work at the Mayo Clinic in the labs. That was so... Dude, okay, so... And apparently his excuse was he said he wanted to look workers in the eye. Like, does he think the mask covers his eyes? <laughs> Definitely taking Spectral here. Actually, I don't think Spectral's gonna come back. To Sarah Fischl, do we take Swords or Spectral? He told us it was because he gets tested often? Thank you! Oh, Jesus. I think it's sword and then spectral comes back. I think, I think this works. To Sarah official saying spectral, gotta go spectral. We have a lot of removal anyway. I'm not super like, not super. Con oh, Gideon seems great. We have path, dismember, uh, winds of abandon, council's judgment, and oblivion ring. So I'm pretty sure we're okay on removal. I'm gonna take this Gideon. Oh, scrubland is nice because it lets us splash the lingering souls. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but. Oh, is that just our, is that just our top end? Good top end. Mother's got a good top. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, Mo, it's great for you. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I'm going to take this tear because it's still a disenchant on the back end or an, or an erase, I guess. There it is. There's the Legion's landing. Gotta make some cuts, man. Yeah, we do. Do we cut one of these? Do we cut the six drop? Six drop Elspeth is so good, but it's not really weenie, right? You also have, like, no acceleration, right? Wow, Mark, that's a hell of a link, buddy. I think you just had a stroke on your keyboard. I think Elspeth's too expensive. Like, I kind of want to play 16 lands almost. Yeah, I think you cut Elspeth. Fink as good as it is. You can bring it in, in certain matchups. I'm cut a Miri Angel because we yeah, have. You know how many fetches. I don't even think this is that great, to be honest. That's fine. Is there anything that's better than? I think. We can take Revoke. Hall and Spirit Keeper sometimes can be really bad. You might want to play Brightling over it. Uh, could also play Fairgrounds Warden. I actually kind of like Fairgrounds Warden over like one of the, like Oblivion Ring or something. I think Oblivion Ring's pretty good. I don't think you want to count removal, right? Well, we only have seven creatures in the deck, so. Do this. Oh, that's pretty low for Mono White. Right. Well, we also have Gideon. And we have other Gideon. Oh, Angel came back. That's that's nice. That's better than the other Angel for sure. <laughs> Spectral Possession is also a creature. What is? Spectral Possession. So we got Gideon, Spec. <laughs> Wall of Owens came back. That's hilarious. Gideon, Spec. Other Gideon. Else. Uh, no, that doesn't do it. Legion's Landing. Right? Legion's Landing. Gideon, Spectral, other Gideon. So that's like 13 creatures. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't know if Lingering Souls is good enough when we only have Scrubland to splash it off of. I mean, I'm probably still going to play, play Scrubland because it does let us cast Dismember for two life instead of... Um... 
I think Resto is probably pretty good, though. Let's put Resto in. I didn't realize we had a Resto. Yeah, we're just going to play 15 lands. Or 16 lands, rather. Because we only have two 5 drops. Legion's Landing can flip. Got a lot of 3 drops, though. And no real mana acceleration, unfortunately. The only thing I don't like about Revoker is that, like, it doesn't really have any synergy. Like, it's not a white creature. I guess it goes to the graveyard for Hollowed Spirit Keeper, but that's gone. There is one other good one that I can't think of the name of, but... Hmm... I think this is just fine. I feel like the only problem with the deck is that we don't have any like mana accelerants. Maverick is the best part of the movie. That is a good one. Be nice if I get something other than garbage. Garbage, I tell you. What? Keep getting garbage. Remember the time you just totally interrupted me? You fucking piece of shit. I didn't mean to. Now you're gonna give him so many lands. Yeah, but then I'll just take him away with my Ravages of War. Did you read Katie's response? Fat chunk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know what? I'll keep it. They went to six. I like Lock, Stock, and Two Barrels. Swing Barrels. Not sure I'd call it a poker movie. I think it's poker in it, but it is a great movie. That's like the guy Richie? Yeah, that's yes. the guy Richie. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Good night, Sam. Good night, mm -hmm. Samuel. Samuel L. Chang. <laughs> Samuel Chang? That's my name. It's actually the name of Michael's butler in Threat Level Midnight. I don't know, brother. I forget. There, where's my one drop, Smokey Lucky? Right here, bud. Right here. D W I G H T. Oh, coercive portal. <laughs> Meant to go all in, left myself with 48 chips. Whoops. You went to go all in? Yeah. So are you almost out? No, no, no. No, no. I mean, I shoved and I left myself 48 chips back. I didn't actually go all the way in. They all folded anyway, it doesn't matter, but. This guy, my little Kithian. It's just real awkward to go all in and be like, oh, I still have two chips. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll name home homage because clearly Carnage is good for you. I agree. Once I get the Jitte trigger, it's basically done. You skip season one? That's super weird. Season one has a lot of important stuff. Oh, this is interesting. This is so weird to skip seasons of anything. It's only six episodes. It's really not that bad. Like, it explains Ryan as a character. explains who Jan is. explains the Jim Pam thing. It has a lot of Roy exposition. I mean, to be fair, you can enjoy The Office without knowing the whole story, but... Yeah, they changed Michael Scott's character, but you still need to know about every other character in the show. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Three, four, five. Are they upheavaling? That'd be cool. I forget, brother. See, Parks and Rec, I, the Parks and Rec has a season one that I really dislike. And I feel like Parks and Rec as a show 
changed a lot more uh, in season two, from season one to two. I just think the Mark character isn't great. Like Andy's character in season one isn't great. I forget, brother. You really like saying that, huh? Shut up. That's rude, man. You're rude. I guess we're dead. Probably. Called out the Forge Master? That was the turn? Hmm. Interesting. Oh boy. You can just dismember that, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna that's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, they just get, they're like, all right, that'll do. All right. Well, this guy comes in. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Don't waste no money. Go be in the trash can. Get rid of wins. Uh, where tier would be good if we had a red? I don't, actually, it gets rid of mana flare. So, Mark is awful. Mark is awful. <sighs> Actually, Elspeth Conqueror's Death is nice because it just gets rid of like Worn Power Stone, Mana Flare. It gets rid of all kinds of things. Might be Mentor. Oh, Mentor seems real good. I don't know. I don't know what to cut here. It might just be path. Cut one Geddon, really? They have no creatures. Like, so if we get to slam two creatures, then, like, cut a Geddon, like... Why, why am I off of Mario? Oh, man. I'll just take Alka path. Because we still have... Um, Dismember and the other, and the other ones. This actually seems fine. It's a little slow and clunky, but... What's your stack looking like? 10k. What's the biggest stack looking like? 90k. 90k? Something like that. Michael. Hey man, it's a grind. Not for them. <laughs> they got it. That just means more chips for me to get from you. <laughs> that just means you got more for me to take from you. <clears throat> Oof. Land, land, land. Give me that land. Give Guess I lost land. the game because I didn't hit that third land. Land, land, land. I just want to land. Didn't hit that third land. So now they get one, two, three, four, five, six mana. <laughs> cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. put land tax in all right Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Yes. Uh, yeah, keep. Valley and Revoker seem very, very good right here. Oh yeah, we're naming Mana Crypt. For sure. Or do we name Power Stone? Lost the flip. We named Mana Crypt because we want to be in. We want to kill this, right? This is the one we want to leave on the board. So if we get like O ring, we can O ring this thing. Hmm. You counter this? Cool. Thank you. Smokey Loki with the gifted sub to Crazy Joe Devola. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This deck playing fucking Avalanche Rider is just the worst, dude. Yeah, because for some reason they get the basics. Different times. In four months, and I will lose a lot of me. Hey, man. Yeah, man. That's how many chips I'm at now. 11,000. 24,600. Oh, wow. Way to double up. More than doubled up. Yeah, I know, but you're not going to say way to double and a half up. Like, that's not a saying, so. That's true. Just accept that it's a little bit off, and then just, just let it go. Thank you. Oh, Smokey Lucky with the gifted sub to Newman. Smokey Lucky's just giving, gifting Seinfeld characters subs now. I can't believe Crazy Joe Devola is actually a friggin' <laughs> Twitch username, dude. That's hilarious. Seven mana, huh? That's cool. That's cool. No, I didn't triple up. It was, it was two and a half Thank up. You. I doubled up plus one about 5k that was already in the pot. No, yeah, just trips. Nothing crazy. Trips. I had pocket jacks hit a jack on the flop. It's wild. You're a crazy man. <laughs> Can you believe he went all in with trips? What a maniac! <laughs> what an absolute! What an absolute bonkers man! Bonkers man. <laughs> My name is Bonkers man. Oh, Licky Boom Boom Down. Can we talk about Licky Boom Boom Down for a second? No. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder if they have anything. I don't know what's going on here. Let's get down to business. To the feet. Thank you. Mike B. Oh, Bonkers Man. Wow, gifted sub to Bonkers Man. What? <laughs> Jesus. That's just wild. So is it Oblivion Ring here? And get rid of one of their warm... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, nine mana.
Yeah, what are we O-ringing? The Worn Power Stone? At three mana. ECD Mind Slayer? What does that mean? I mean, if we put Brimaz on board and they don't have anything, it's just lethal next turn. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So. Another 8. Okay. I mean, they also have three turns to lose with Mana Crypt, so. Oh, they won. <laughs> they also have four turns to lose with Mana Crypt, so. Bonkers, man! I don't know why I keep saying ECD. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're saying right now. Do I just play this first? I feel like I do because it makes all our things stronger. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we got like, I don't know what's happening right now. Sure. Oh, Elspeth Conquers Death. Oh, we couldn't cast Elspeth Conquers Death. We have Thali out. Yeah, it costs one mo. On the flip again. All right. Seems good. You people had enough? Give me some mo. I think we just won. Oh, nice. my God. 1-0 with the mono white deck with, no, with, with very few weenies. Well... You got some weenies in there. And you got things that make weenies. That's true, I guess. I feel like our one and two slots are just very, very, uh, you know, short. Dun, 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 dun. We got 14 buy-ins so far. That's a lot. That's like with rebuys. That's still like 280 bucks though, right? Something like that, yeah. Good gravy. Can you try not to lose again? <laughs> I'm certainly going to try. Oh. Hey, man, I just doubled up. I'm trying real hard. Look, man, when you lose, I lose. You know? When you lose, I lose. Just like that. Yeah, land tax is just meh. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't in love with a land tax. Come on, Thalia. That would be great. Okay, well, I don't have nothing either. Sometimes just white creatures getting in there does the job, you know. Y'all got any of them white creatures? No. Oh, look. Secret power on turn two. <laughs> sure. Really tempted to just counsel's judgment that thing, to be honest with you. So I will. Probably worth the judgment. This is more like a white wiener deck instead of a white weenie deck. Wow.
How you doing, man? I don't know, but this game just keeps trying to autofold my hand. That seems not good when money's on the line. Yeah, it's real weird. I'm going to reload the app and hope that doesn't happen anymore. There's a lot of creatures they just put on the board. Next turn, if we can go mentor into honor of the pure, it seems very, very good. What up, TPO? TPO. Are they going to daze me? No. We're not going to attack because if they block with Solomon, you have my elder, they both win, so. To like draw three cards. No blue black. Is this the right channel? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're doing a stipulation, so you know. Sometimes people pay me not to play blue black and green. That's about the only way it happens. I would never do it otherwise. I don't know. You played a good amount of white recently. What? 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 I don't know what you're saying right now. Sometimes I think you're just drunk all the time. I often am. God damn. So I just hope they don't have opposition. That's really the only thing I'm I'm afraid of here, I think. That's okay. I think it's actually honor this guy and then or on, wins this guy and then honor or could just Gideon make an emblem too thank you I think Gideon make an emblem is really 10 months second baby's on the way <laughs> only not only eight more months it's gonna make an emblem here because we're gonna make so many guys and this also means next turn we can still go Monastery Honor if they. And plus, like, these are both five butts, so they can't be killed by either of these guys. The token is also going to be a 3 2. Um, when here in Blade Hold, the Battle Cry should go on first. Don't mess it up. Right? Because that's going to be the last thing we want to do. Yeah, okay. Ace Line Suit on the button? Me likey. Me likey breadsticks. Prefer Ace Ten suited, but you know I'll deal with it. Me like a breadsticks. Okay, this is very aggressive. Well, me like you then. What do you want? There's a lot of damage. This is very aggressive. What we're doing right here, our the whitest of our weenies. Also, that uh, I don't know what I, I might have been the five guys did not sit well with me after eating it. Yeah, you got the mud butts. Had it. Got rid of it. Send it on down to Septic Town. All in, huh? Man, why you gotta go all in? I can't call that. Sad face. Me do like you, Breadstick. Oh, what up, Fritzy boy? They're gonna trade that 3 2 for that 2 that 3. I guess they're taking 10 here. And the alternative is taking 13 and going to 4. So. Call it, Mike. I feel like we're in very good shape here. No, nah, man. Ace-9 suit is not good enough for 18,000 blind. Ace-9? Ace-9 suit. Nah. This guy's also fairly tight, so it'd be a real bad call. I think people overvalue just having a high card. Oh, 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 it was Ace-King suited, sure. Easy, but...
Finishing up inventory. Counting them meatballs. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure, man. That's what I'm saying. Counting them meatballs. When you're when you're doing inventory, do you have to count every single meatball? Yeah, man. How else are they going to know? That seems so weird, though. What if a meatball breaks in? Because, like, food is, is not... I was joking. I really doubt they do oh. that. Oh. Because food itself is not, like, a, a hard substance, right? Like, like soup. It doesn't come in, like, a unit of soup, right? So, it's like... It comes in a bag. How much is one soup? What if a meatball breaks? Is that two meatballs or just one? Do you still count it? Do you got to throw it out? What is this they're doing? Hydro crisis? Yeah, that's fine. You gain three. This is cute, but you're dead. My man... Plus, I'm going to drop Honor the Pure like it's fucking, like it's hot. Hot doo-doo. This is going to be the hottest of doo-doos. You know, for the lulls. For more lulls. Everybody in. Chocolate ship them. I'm not even doing the math. You figure it out. <laughs> they did. <laughs> you eat the meatballs you want and count what's left. That sounds about right. Oh, they count by packs. See, that's smart. That's smart. Frexy and Roker seems good here again because they got a bunch of mana idiots. Would you say he's on smart motherfucker? I think Fairgrounds Warden is actually probably also great because they probably can't deal with it. Probably better than O-Ring, to be honest with you. Also, we can take out one Ravages. We can take out a Ravages of War. That's Ned from South Park. Remember Ned? Hey, Michael. My name is that. Ned. I think O-Ring is kind of a liability. Tuba Rancher Mayo on the meatballs, so... Oh, I want to die. All in Ace Nine versus Tens versus Jacks versus, that's it. All in Tens and the Tens and the Jacks and the Ace and the that's it. Oh, Linvala seems OP. Heck yeah, I'm gonna Linvala here. Do <laughs> that, dog. <laughs> I heard them. I heard them. I'll take both the Armageddon's out. I don't think Armageddon's great against this matchup where they have a bunch of creature mana. Oh my god, I'm a country boy. You're a country boy? I don't know, maybe. We're going fishing, boys. Fishing for a set of fives. Sounds like someone wrecking stuff. Sounds like that all the time. I think we mull this hand. This is much better. Ship five. God, every game with this mox. Jesus. Exact same opening.
What is a morph? Sure. They have three cards in hand. Vigilance, can you give Vig? Yeah, let's give this guy Vig. Vigilance. Actually, it's probably a Den Protector, so it's not that great, but if they want to spend their turn flipping it, I'm getting nothing out of it. That's fine. Also, Vigilance isn't that great with that creature. This? Yeah. Well, I would just block. What? I guess you can just pay life and block, right? Yeah. Right. I just, I mean, that's better than Gideon taking like three. That's true. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, huh? Avenger of Zendikar? Well, they did play a forest here. Now it's going to be like finale for five. Sure. Uh, yeah, all right. That's fine. Hey, Mike, what's that thing you sent in Discord about texting you? I was just giving people my number in the Discord because someone asked. <laughs> That's all. I was just giving my digits. Sure. Yeah, if you rest out Gideon, it resets the counters. Okay, that's actually pretty sweet.
Went to combat without using this. That's annoying. Oops. I mean, we wanted to give it indestructible, but... Because now this goes here. No, it does not go there. Yep, sure. I figured you'd do that. Oh, I'll give this guy vigilance. I still feel like we're kind of ahead. Down to seven players. What's your what's your stack looking like? Sixteen five. It's not the best, Michael, but it's not terrible, I guess. It's like forty five big blinds. Not bad. have finale for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so finale for eight i can't think of a creature that's really that great against us except for like avenger of zendikar crater hoof doesn't do anything terastodon is probably better for us than it is for them they can kill their own lands <sighs> yeah but that just still doesn't do much like we give in both of these have indestructible and this is a four four so and you have a flyer in your hand plus we can negative six gideon to kill the terastodon so oh yeah I don't think I've seen Hornet Queen in this cube yet. I don't know if it's still in here. That dude went all in just because he could rebuy. That's so weird, dude. Mm, when there's two queens on the board. And very obviously someone had a queen. What did you do with your rhino when you moved? It was just a rental, so I didn't have to. I just returned it. You had a whole rhino? Yeah, every month I was doing my rental rhino. Nice. Treachery? What? I'm just going to return it to my hand. Oh my god, we should have rest out it. Oh, dang it. That would have been better. I just got so excited that like we had an answer for their treachery. So now the only card in their hand is Finale? Are they going to finale for four? For five? For three. Hmm. <sighs> Missing the flop. Seabed took it down. Did they just, did they just get a hydroid crassus? With their finale? Oh boy, 2 0. -oh. Not bad. I am surprised. Hey man, are you going to trophy with the white weenies? I don't know. It looks like it. And if we would have called, we would have totally whiffed. Yeah, I play very conservatively for the most part. That probably makes no sense because I was gone and Michael B was narrating the poker game while it was paused. Oh, match three. Let's see if we can 3 0 -oh with some mono white wieners. I'm generally a pretty tight player. Why don't you keep bragging about how type, type of a player you are? That can be a bad thing sometimes. Hey, that can be the bad. Oh, turn two honor, turn three spectral. Live the dream. It'd only be better if you had a one drop in your hand. <laughs> Would be better. We can still draw Kithian. 
That's true. Or a Kissing Allegiance. Honor Spectral? That'd be real good. Or a Legion's Landing. Ooh, Ace Queen's offsuit. Pretty good hand. Me likey. We didn't we didn't we didn't get there. Still good hand. I am interrupting Mike's poker stream, you know why? Because <laughs> fuck him, that's why. That's a stream you can't see, so. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Mike B's got a future in poker broadcasting, Bucks. <laughs> Does he? Does he, guys? Wow. How dare you. Does he? These two gum shoes are picking up the slack. You know that song? It's Chip and Dale Rescue Ranger, Michael. About gum shoes? Oh, look. Mana Crypt. Sure. Well, that was interesting. Fascinating. <laughs> There's no things to do, no Michael Bees. He's living in the trees. M -m -m Michael Bees won the flip. They always win the flip. Do 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 do. What's your avatar pick of? Easy prey. It is praise day, my dude. Uh, sure. You ain't even got no creatures out. Two drop, two drop, two drop. Two drop, two drop, two drop. <laughs> you like that? You like that nose? Yeah, that's great, man. I think it's just Gideon making emblem again. It's a lot of damage. Boy, isn't it? Could also considered hero. There's someone here? What's going on out there? That'd be real weird if they had guests again. Everything's happening. Ch -ch -ch my go bees in the trees. My, 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 my go bees in, in the trees. Trees. They didn't block again. Fascinating. They lost the flip, going to four. Two spirits are lethal. They can't languish, otherwise I kill them with Vanguard. Oh, they can languish. They can't damnation, or I kill them with Vanguard. Even then, like, they have to win before dying to their own crypt. They conceded the game. Oh, my God. To Sarah Official, we're, we're crushing it. That song came roaring back into my memory. when you, Yeah, that's how it works, man. That's how it works. I'm going to bring Wear Terror in because of their thing. You know, man, you know their thing. You know. Actually, I like Revoker better than Wear Tear. It's another body. We board it in Wear Tear. We board it in Revoker every game. Every game? Every one. Recoil, Mike, recoil. <laughs> Just... Take a little ring out. We have Council of Judgment, Winds of Abandoned, Path, Dismember. Ooh, what if we go turn two honor, turn three ravages, turn three blade splicer, turn four ravages? Is that a good series of? <laughs> one hundred one thousand channel points, nearly enough to start speaking with highlighted messages only. Oh, they mulled a six too. Fuck. One drop, one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. That's a two drop there. That's a two drop. I said a one drop. Ah. Oh, 
That's a pretty good one, though. Let's play that. Who's that? Oh, they're just snapping off a, a mana leak for sure, dude. For sure. You got Oh, it. we just went all in. Hit trips. Got there. What's your stack? 34K. Tell me about your stack, Michael. And took it off the chip leader. So that's really good. I was a chip leader once. Give me your chippies. Going all in with pocket aids is a little scary, but my stack was low enough to where I got to do it. You know. Do you mean Aureen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I feel like we messed up by not playing Revoker now. Oh, now we're really in this game, boys. We got lifeblood again. What is it? What is it? Wait, what did you say your stack was? It's 33K now. 33. What's the highest K. stack here? 70K. Oh, God. He's losing it all. Hey, man, I just doubled up. God, what more do you want from me? Oh, we just had three aces on a flop. Oh, and we got people betting in front of me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get, let, take, him, take him for a ride. I'm not going to raise them. I'm just going to smooth call it. No, dude, take him for a ride. Going to take him for a ride. I guess if someone has ace king, I'm losing, but like, I can't really play that way. Okay, Scarab God and Island. Oh, actually, we have Winds of Abandon, so that's fine. If they want to, like, play some idiot, get Scarab God back, I'll just Winds it for Xen Revoker, the recurring nightmare. No, oh, we chopped. We both had three of a kind. Oh, well. But, but how does he have better three of a kind than Aces? No, we both we we both had an ace, so we both had three. Aces. Oh, you both had the eight. Okay. And the board was higher than our kickers, so we split. I didn't know the board had two aces. Yeah. No, I wasn't lucky enough to get pocket aces and hit uh, ace on the flop. That would have been great, but I still won a two k worth of chips. Also, hey, I'll take a chop of a pot any day instead of losing a crap ton of chips. Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale's attack for six. You streaming tomorrow too? Uh, tomorrow I will probably be off because I'm doing a charity stream on Thursday. And I've streamed for like the past eight or nine days in a row without a break. So I'm probably taking a day off tomorrow. Super also, isn't the Ventures Cube Ben tomorrow? Yeah, that's why. I'm like, I'm going to stream up until then. And then so the I'm next done. day you're doing a charity thing. What's that? What's what's charity? It's when you raise no. money oh, for. No, uh, what what charity? Who's it for? What's going uh, on? Uh, we're doing we're doing care, which is a. Uh, uh, Who invited you to it? Uh, my team. It's a team thing. Oh, nice. F two K. Uh, it's a humanitarian organization fighting global poverty. Nice. Um, sure. Oh, they took Ravages of War. That's pretty rough. I guess we just get to name. Recurring Nightmare and play. <coughs> Man, we didn't even get to Ravage as a dude. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wild. <clears throat> I think they're dead. Holy smokes. I think we just 3-0'd with the friggin' mono white deck from Tessera Official. I mean, they have to have a wrath here, basically, right? It's yes. Like only shot. I guess if they have a Chupacabra, they're in an okay spot. Not even that great, though. I got Jitte. That's true. I don't know, man. Yeah, they're probably just dead. Maybe they're typing their little message to you. <laughs> Basic math. <laughs> that step command's not even correct. Wow. You're getting lazy, man. Would you shut the hell up? <laughs> oh, Tassiger. To see Gray. Okay. Oh, and then you just activate? Sure. When is a charity event and we, and we can watch? Of course. You can stream it, obviously. That'd be weird. 
can you watch? I can't, well, I don't know how how would I I don't even know how I'd make money or how I would how you guys would donate if you weren't watching. Oof, that's a big oof. Also, I'm no longer in last place. Hmm. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I have more than double the short stack. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you Emrakul. Here's an Emrakul. You got it, boss. So if they block here, they take three, four, five. And yeah, we're just getting in there with this guy. Yeah, Jitan first strike is definitely gross. Okay. First strike damage. Resolved. So three card types, Emrakul costs 10. They're a bit of ways. Necromancy, get Tasker back again. Okay. Seems fine. Path Exile. Land, huh? Hunt around, ho oh, oh. ho. literally no reason not to attack with Gollum here. At least I don't think there is. Alright, pay us tonight are going to be 180 to first, 80 to second, 40 to third. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's actually terrible, Michael. Terrible. Chupacabra. Oh, we're just activating Tassiger. Okay, I'll give you Bitter Blossom. You're at six. That's the game. Nice. Three O with the mono white deck. Wow. Three O with the mono green deck last, and three O with the mono white deck now. Apparently, mono colored is the way to go. And an evacuation and 25 more beautiful play points. Thank you guys for watching. To Sarah Official, really appreciate the step, man. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the support, my dude. I appreciate you, buddy. And uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely go to twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Give me a follow or subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel. If you have Twitch Prime, definitely use your Twitch Prime subscription, which is free for the channel if you want to support it go to patreon.com slash frank lapore for one or two dollars a month manatraders.com is an amazing subscription service you can use and uh cool stuff inc every wednesday use promo code frank5 and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys i'll see you later